morning, ESM. I hope you are having a great start to your day. Today, we are going to be talking about some upcoming movies that we are excited to, to watch. We'll get started with that after news with Anthony. Two Syracuse teen teenagers have been caught and arrested after driving a stolen 2013 Honda CRV with no tail lights and then running and refusing arrest. The 17-year-old and 15-year-old male occupants of the vehicle drove to a business parking lot where they abandoned the car and attempted to flee on the foot. The teens were caught, taken into custody, and charged with criminal possession of stolen property in the third degree. Friday night, a group of people attacked a man on Syracuse University campus. Witnesses recorded as the man, witnesses recorded as the man was being beaten on the ground while pleading for the group to stop. One of those videos was uploaded to the Tab Syracuse, one of Syracuse's Instagram pages, with more than 13,000 followers. This video caught the attention of a few Syracuse campus leaders and they spoke out saying how deeply disturbing this, this video was and how actions like this won't be tolerated on Syracuse grounds. The victim was found covered in blood and had a swollen black eye, but didn't want to press charges. An Onondaga County deputy with a hit and run history was recently charged again for drunk driving. Dep deputy Kevin Drum was pulled over near the Route 298 exit north of the thruway for driving a pickup truck erratically on the highway. Drum was arrested after appearing to be drunk and refusing to take a breath test. The Sheriff's Office, Internal Affairs Unit, and the Onondaga County District Attorney's Office are still investigating. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any student interested in playing baseball in the spring, there will be an important meeting Thursday at 7.51 a.m. in room D17. This is an important meeting for any 9th to 12th graders interested in playing baseball. See Coach Harrington with any questions. Any students interested in singing up for ice hockey for the 2021-2022 season must see Mr. Stuper in the athletic office, athletic office for more information. Sign-ups will be on the end of Monday, November 1st. and Zendaya. It is a sci-fi adaptation of the novel written by Frank Herbert. It follows Paul Atreides, an heir to the house of a planet known as Dune. This will be on HBO Max in theaters on October 22nd. I'm definitely gonna check that one out. I'll tell you about our next movie, upcoming after Weather with Grayson. Today, on Monday, we'll be breezy with constant lake effect showers and a high of 52 and a low of 44 degrees. Overnight showers will slowly clear out and clouds will also start to clear out as the day progresses. Tomorrow, on Tuesday, we'll have a high of 66 and a low of 51 degrees and Tuesday will be breezy but much warmer with a, with a lot more sunshine. On Wednesday, we will have a high of 70 and a low of 53 degrees, with Wednesday being a lot like Tuesday, since it will be breezy with a lot more sunshine. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Okay, so here's my pick, a new movie by Marvel Studios called Eternals. Anyone who knows me that knows that I love Marvel, both the comics and the movies. Eternals comes to theater on November 5th. It follows immortal beings who have been living in secrecy on Earth until they reunite to fight the evil deviants. That sounds like a sick movie. We have one more movie for you after sports with John.
After one full weekend of the championship series, the Houston Astros and Boston Red Sox are both tied at one game apiece, and the Atlanta Braves have a two-game lead on the Los Angeles Dodgers after walking it off on back-to-back -back nights. In the NFL, the Arizona Cardinals remain undefeated after a blowout win against the Cleveland Browns. Quarterback Kyler Murray threw four touchdowns. The Dallas Cowboys beat the New England Patriots in an overtime thriller. Dak Prescott threw for 445 yards and three touchdowns one being the game winner to receiver C.D. Lamb. The Buffalo Bills play the Tennessee Titans tonight at 8.20. And uh, when we get to Luke, I'll have to ask him what he thought about that uh, Steelers-Seahawks game. Um, in Syracuse news, the Orange lost to Clemson 17-13 last Friday. Quarterback Tommy DeVito has also now entered the transfer portal. And now on to Luke with your ESM Sports. I won't be discussing too much from the game, but whatever. Anyways, on Thursday, the football team beat Carthage 41-38. to Quarterback Tyler Bell had an amazing game with 191 passing yards and three passing touchdowns, as well as 127 rushing yards with a rushing touchdown. Running backs Micah Combs and Jackson Palin both added a touchdown each on the ground, and receivers Rocky L., Ben Cesarini, and Jimmy Malbone each had a touchdown. Isaiah Hayden led the team in tackles again with 10. The boys' cross-country team placed 12th out of 20 in their meet at Weedsport on Saturday, and Rachel Ladd finished 6th for, for the girls' team. On Saturday, the boys' soccer team beat JD 1-0 for the SCAC championship. Jackson Tedesco scored the game-winning goal assisted by Joelle Alvarez. The clip is shown here. As well as the girls' soccer team beat JD 3-0 for the SCAC championship. Leah Rem had led the team with two goals, and Giselle Michaelham had a goal. Natalie Peterson had two assists, and Katherine Cox had an assist as well. In upcoming games, the boys volleyball team has a game at home against us. So we go at 6.30, and I'm Luke with your sports. Our last movie is a very interesting one. Uh, I'm super excited to see how this one turns out. It's a bit of a weird one. And the movie is Clifford the Big Red Dog. Now, you, you've all probably watched this Clifford as a kid, but now it is coming <coughs> to real life, or at least live action. I'm pretty excited to see how they made it happen. Same, and I bet you guys are too. So you can check it out November 12th in theaters. That's all we have today. Hopefully you guys found out about some of the new movies and wanted to check them out. From Ryan, myself, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day and go watch those movies.